Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the range now. And today I am featuring a custom 1911 made by Standard Manufacturing that is all color cased hardened. And the reason why it's custom is because no color case hardened firearm or anything else will be exactly the same. That is really a sharp look to it. Now it's all throughout the frame and the slide and it is all 1911 five inch match grade barrel comes with two seven round magazines four and a half pound trigger pull and i love the 1911 triggers and this one is really nice three dot sights wood double diamond checkering there i'm thinking about getting some g10s with this that would that would really offset the color case hardened the wood's not bad but the g10 certainly would be cool and some of the controls are like a shiny blue it does have a a coating over it but it's a 70 series so it does not have that firing pin block let's go ahead and take a few shots here see how there we go First couple shots right there, overall not bad. It's definitely a smooth shooter. Now, if you look at the hammer, it is skeletonized. The trigger is not, doesn't really matter. I, I think that's more for looks. It does have a flat mainspring housing, memory bump there, extended beaver tail, and a nice looking handgun. Pretty happy with it so far. I've got a extended mech guard mag. Let me load that up and we'll take a few more shots. Here we have a Mech Guard 10 round 1911 magazine. One of the things I have to remind myself is that when shooting a 1911, the thumb, right hand thumb for a righty goes over the thumb safety because if not, if you keep that underneath, the recoil may cause it to engage and that has happened to me before. So just a tidbit of information that might help somebody out there that mentioned four and a half pound trigger i think so let's shoot 10 rounds here nice i'm a huge 1911 fan i'm a huge fan of beautiful 1911s and I think this thing is sharp. Now it goes about 1500 bucks, but it is a 70 series. It does have a GI style guide rod in there, which is not a full length guide rod because when the slide is locked back, you won't see. That's one way to tell. If the guide rod's out there with the slide locked back, then you know it's a full length guide rod. If not, it's a partial length guide rod called a GI guide rod. I haven't noticed much of a difference when shooting but what I have noticed is that this is really nice with a, a five inch match grade barrel and that trigger pull is very nice and it's beautiful. When I did my table review, some people said they like this side a little bit better. Sun just came out, it's shining quite a bit. But they said they like this side a little bit better. Whatever, I like both sides. Not bad. So there it is. Standard manufacturing color case hardened 1911. In my eyes, it offers everything that I'm looking for in a 1911. It's got a match grade barrel, five inch, uh, great trigger, seven round mags. I like the eight round mags a little bit better, but I can live with that because I have several that will be interchangeable, no problem. Take, take a look at that beaver tail and, and how that looks with the color case hardened. But it's beautiful. It's a shooter, all in one, breaks down just like any other 1911. So if you're looking for something different, something that is a 1911, and if you're a fan like I am, you want something that's kind of cool, check out this standard, standard manufacturing color case hardened model. I think 
it's a showcase it's actually a wall hanger in my opinion and i just love showing it off if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe